Today we have the privilege of being led in worship by a guest worship leader, and I'm going to introduce Dr. Diane White Clayton, affectionately known as Dr. D. Dr. D is a classically trained soprano, pianist, conductor, and composer. Originally from Washington, D.C., she holds a PhD and MA in music composition from the University of California, Santa Barbara, and a BA in music from Washington University in St. Louis. She also studied in Paris, France, as a Rotary Scholar representing the United States as an Ambassador of Goodwill. She is the founding director of the Bythax Ensemble, a professional, musically diverse vocal group. The body of her music embraces nuance, nuances of soulful gospel, colorful jazz harmonies, and classical precisions with a passion to touch the depths of our humanity. A Baptist preacher's daughter, she commands both stage and podium with grace, eloquence, and power. Dr. D has held various university and church positions and travels extensively as artist, conductor, and teacher. She is an author, speaker, producer, and recording artist, as well as vocal clinician consultant for Disney, if you've heard of Disney. She owns a publishing and artist support company with her husband and best friend, famed percussionist, Joe Clayton. And I would just say that I heard her playing piano earlier and I was a little bit jealous. So what an honor to have her here. Thank you. We welcome you in the name of Christ and um, thank you for leading us in worship today, Dr. D. Thank you. Humbly 
Make me Savior, holy Thine. I need to feel Your loving Holy Spirit. Truly know that Thou art mine. I give my all, give it all to You, Lord. I Yes, 
to loving the people we don't like. Yes, Lord, to this calling over our lives. Yes, yes, Lord. Come on, just one more time. Say it. Say yes. Yes, Lord. God, we bless your name in this place, Lord. And we give you these moments that we have together, God. Such a simple word with such powerful meaning. Demonstrating how we can give to you something you don't already have. And that is our free will. Because you made us that way. You've given us the scary thing called choice. <laughs> Scary because so many times we don't say yes to you, Lord. So many times we don't agree because we're scared, because we're, we just want to do it our way. Well, I know I do, Lord. But over and over again, we come back and you receive us because of your powerful, plentiful grace. So hear our yeses this morning and receive us, oh God, into your arms. In Jesus' name, we bless you. Amen. Good morning, Westmont College. Man, I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. I tell you, I have... Um, Man, this is so special, I can't even tell you. Because here's how special it is. For most of you, when I started doing chapels here, you were like in heaven looking down, going like, I'm probably gonna be in that chapel one day, maybe not, I don't know. But um, I am, some of the most special times of my life, I lived in Santa Barbara for nine years, eight of those years, at UCSB, but some of the most special times were right here in Murchison Gym with um, people who are just like you, who are students, who are seeking, who are searching, who are wondering. And we would come together and we would sing some songs, some of my songs I wrote in here, and that was really cool. So I'm happy to be here. And I want you to help me with this next song that you don't know. <laughs> um, everybody say, oh God, to you I cling. Underneath the shadow of your mighty wing. Easy part, la 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 la. Ooh, y'all said it just exactly right. Yeah. Um, to you I sing. So it sounds like this. It says, oh God, to you I cling. Underneath the shadow of your mighty wing. La, 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 to you I sing. Let me tell you what's cool. I got to stop. I just got to tell y'all something. <laughs> okay, so now don't tell. I know uh, there are a few alums here, okay? So you have to close your ears. But when I first came, I used to have to teach people how to clap on to it for, and you're just doing it. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? Y'all already like, yeah, we got you, Dr. D. Yay. And they'd be like, oh, oh, God. And I'd be like, no, no, it's not that one. Okay, but I just, I just... I appreciate you. I just got to say. Okay, I'm going to start over. One, two, ready? It's, oh, oh, God, to you I cling. Underneath the shadow of your mighty wings. La, 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 to you I sing. Do it again. Oh, oh God, to you I cling. To you I cling. Underneath the shadow of your mighty wings, la la la, la 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 la, to you I sing by yourself. Here we go. Cling. You got it underneath, underneath the shadow of your mighty wings, la la la, la 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 la, to you I sing. Okay, that's easy, right? So we can't just stay easy. So we gotta make this around, you know? Yes, yes, a cannon if you're a music major. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right. So this is gonna be section one, like here, there. Section one, raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Let me see, you got your, y'all back there, y'all section one. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Section two right here on the floor, what's up? Hey. 
Okay, you all woke right here. Okay, section three. Yeah, what I'm saying? What's up? What's up? Woo! This is my section. Oh, no, no, I know you all just cool. You all saving it, saving your voice. So you're going to really bring it. Okay, one, two, ready? One more time. Practice. Everybody. Oh, oh, God, to you I cling. Underneath the shadow of your mighty wings, la la la, la 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 la, to you I sing. Here we go, section one. Oh, come on, yep. I cling, and oh, oh God, I cling, uh huh. Oh, come on, stand up, stand up. Come on, come on, start over, keep on. Oh, there we go. So, some of y'all are being inhibited. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go, okay? So, now, this is the last part. I'm going to add a little movement. All right, I know some of y'all already movement. We're going we're gonna to help it out, okay? So, how about this? When we do, oh, God is here. Cling is first. Cling. Think alphabetical order. Okay, cling. One, two, here we go. Ready, and Two, I cling. Then you're going to go. Underneath us. Yes, yes. Y'all got moves too. What you say? Yes. Y'all better work it. Okay, one, two, beginning and oh. I cling and underneath us of your mighty. Then you're gonna just say la 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 la. Beginning together. Oh. Uh-huh. I clean. You gonna help me out, Renee? Underneath. It's my goddaughter. She helping out. Up your mighty wings. Uh-huh. La 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 la. To you I sing. Come on, sing it out. Oh, oh God. Underneath the shadow of your mighty. La la la. La 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 la. To you. giving you a standing ovation. <laughs> Amen. One more time. Amen. <laughs> One more time. One, two, last time. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. To you, I cling. Yes. Underneath the shadow of your mighty wing. Yes. La, 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 la. To you, I sing. Hey. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>
If David Copperfield was in the day of Jesus, he would be Jesus. I'm pretty sure he existed. Like, I'm not going to say that he didn't exist. He was God's son, but so was Gandhi, and so was Muhammad, and so was, you know, we're all God's children. Jesus is someone I pray to. Well, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, um, and he, to me, is the, like, symbol of just ultimate forgiveness and ultimate love. He's sort of that, like, constant figure in my life. Jesus is also Isa in Arabic, and he was a messenger as well. He was just extremely enlightened, like, religiously and morally. Was somebody that um, just tried to um, impart wisdom on others and um, make the world a better place. I think he saw something that a lot of people didn't see and still don't see in others. And I, I think that's just a lot of love and, and hope. Jesus sort of seemed like an ominous uh, figure. You know, he just, he, he was God and it was hard to relate to him. But I think as I've grown in my faith a lot, I've really started to see Jesus as my closest friend. Well, before I even comment on that film, Diane, come on, take that Monday. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I think I speak on behalf of all of Westmont when I say it's good to have you back now in a regular rotation, change your life, and just be with us. Thank you. All right, so who is Jesus? This question that this uh, group of folks in the streets of New York were trying to answer. It's the most important question you're ever going to answer. Just sit with that. It's the most important question you're ever going to answer. It's not quite on the same plane as Superman or Batman, Republican or Democrat, McConnell's or Rory's. Okay, it's, it's bigger than that. But like any other question, the Jesus question, you can actually answer with little to no information, or you can do it after extensive seeking and research. But either way, the question begs a response, and the stakes are really high. Because it gets to the idea of worldview, which is basically how you and I make sense of reality. And does Jesus, does his take on reality have, is it reliable? Is it true? So it's a big question. And in fact, Paul tells us that it's ultimately an unavoidable question. He says in Philippians, therefore God exalted him, Jesus, to the highest place and gave him the name of that is above every name. I'm not going 
God was saying, Thank you. 
I'm going to go to the 